The city of Philadelphia often fell in shadow of the civil rights era, but was a hotbed of civil rights activism in the 1960s and 70s. Segregation was rampant in all aspects of Philadelphia society. Employment, housing, education, and economics. Police misconduct was pervasive under the rubric of former police commissioner and subsequently mayor, the notorious Frank Rizzo. In 1970, Frank Rizzo stripped naked several Black Panther members and was known for fueling a turbulent relationship with the black community. Gerard College, a school for orphan boys, refused to integrate despite the Supreme Court's Brown versus Board of Education mandate. In his will, Stephen Gerard bequeathed the school to white orphans only. One bold, brilliant, contentious, colorful, and courageous lawyer, the late Cecil B. Moore, led battle to dismantle Philadelphia's racially tinged and deeply rooted second-class citizenship apparatus. This expose is a tribute to Cecil in this, the hundredth year of his birth. Cecil Bassett Moore, who came from humble beginnings, was born on April 2nd, 1915 in West Virginia. Moore graduated from Bluefield College and initially became a traveling salesman. He then enlisted in the United States Marine Corps, where his tenacity and discipline during World War II earned him the rank of sergeant. After returning to the United States in 1947, Moore relocated to Philadelphia to study law at Temple University. After graduating in 1953, Moore passionately began what would be a lifetime of advocacy poor, working-class African-Americans, primarily in North Philly. His activism became a commonplace as he challenged discrimination in every economic and social aspect of Philadelphia life. His mastery of the United States Constitution, rules of evidence, and intuitive sharpness, enhanced by his charisma and fearlessness, earned him a reputation as one of Philadelphia's top criminal lawyers, black or white. These credits earned him the much-deserved title, the Lion of North Philadelphia. You can't live in this world unless you help somebody, was his motto. Although a fervent civil rights activist, Cecil did not embrace Dr. King's nonviolent strategy. His controversial, no-nonsense attitude rubbed many civil rights leaders the wrong way, but his successful tactics made him the maverick of the city. Moore understood political math incorporated voter education and registration into his empowerment formula. In 1962, Moore was elected president of Philadelphia chapter of the NAACP, where he increased membership from several hundred to more than 30,000 people. During his tenure, Moore successfully led the grassroots battle to desegregate Gerard College. Relying primarily on young adults and students, Moore instituted a protest strategy that encouraged marches around the college's perimeter. He consistently used this approach to attack, to expose, and highlight racially biased double standards. The public protests at Girard College commenced consistently for three years until the college finally desegregated in 1968 as a result of a United States Supreme Court decision. Moore's unbridled and uncompromising NAACP presidency was quite controversial. Some NAACP members thought that Cecil was too militant, aggressive, and possessed too much power. Moore nevertheless tirelessly continued his advocacy. In 1975, he was elected to the Philadelphia City Council. Upon his death, the New York Times reported as follows. Cecil B. Moore made enormous contributions to the civil rights movement 
and improving the quality of life in the city of Philadelphia. More transitions on February 13, 1979. Thank you. 